All right, for this uh, short bit of video, I'm at uh, a site called Kabul Spin. According to the sign, it's a early 11th century east entrance. Um, this is actually located about 48 kilometres from uh, Siam Reap, and it's actually on the, uh, the route that you would take if you were coming back on the pre over here loop. Anyway, uh, we'll head down the track and uh, see what we find. Okay, pushing on with the uh, exploration of the Kabul Spin site. Uh, one of the good things about this location is that it's in Siam Reap province, so the the anchor pass will actually allow you to uh, come in here without paying. Uh, there's supposed to be some waterfalls further up with some rocks that have got uh, Khmer carvings or um, designs on them. Uh, apparently it's worth looking at, so we'll uh, push on up the track and uh, see what we get. Okay, I've just passed a couple of guys that are uh, coming back. And uh, apparently it's, it's a pretty good hike from the car park. It's around about 1.5 kilometers. So uh, looks like it's gonna be a pretty good uh, outing. Nice, definitely nice terrain here anyway. Yeah, plenty of water about. Uh, what's also noticeable is uh, this part of the world. I've got uh, a lot of these um, sandstone uh, geology about these large rocks. And I'm continuing on the trail. Well, it's actually a, uh, a riverbed more than anything else. Up to a site called Kabal Spin which uh, apparently is another one of these um, historical Khmer sites. Anyway, we'll get on with it. Okay, here's a sign. So I'm going in the right direction. It's telling me uh, it's another 1300 meters to the, uh, the actual location. Okay, now that I'm up a bit higher, I've got away from that uh, sloping creek bed and onto a little bit of a pla flat plateau. And the going's uh, pretty good. All right, we've got a bit of a stairway here. Taking us up to uh, higher up the, uh, the landscape. All right, a nice little uh, rest house here up ahead. Um, anybody gets a bit puffed. It's actually a pr pretty easy hike, so I'll just push on. All right, we'll get another stairway here. At least it's in the shade. Well, it's a bit of a slog coming up those stairs, but uh, by the sign we're about halfway there. So, uh, I'll push on up there. Okay, that was good. We're back on the flat going again. And from the looks of it up here, there's a uh, another rest house. We're just a bit over uh, 600 meters away and I can actually hear the sound of running water. So uh, looks like we're getting closer. And we've 
got some decent sized old growth trees here. This one's got some vines running down it. Lovely part of the world here. Nice jungle. Water's running. Sound of birds up in the trees. Okay, 300 meters to go. And you can definitely hear the sound of running water now. Just under 200 meters to go now. It's a very nice landscape around here. Got a duck under. It's not quite well set up here. There's uh, like a little camp, I guess. And there's the waterfall there. To be honest, it's uh, not all that big.
right, here we are at the Cambodian Landmine Museum. And this is the final stop on my uh, tour to Kabul Spine and Banti Saray. It's actually on the highway back to Siem Reap. And from what I've been told, it's quite an interesting site. We'll uh, head on in and uh, have a look around.